All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah, I didn't get to see Batman v Superman today, unfortunately for me. But I'm gonna try and plug at it tomorrow after I finish doing my work and making sure I get some money into the bank because you know money's important. But I just wanted to show you guys just a number of videos online that I was checking out that really are interesting and say very balanced, positive, and negative things about Batman v Superman. Okay, this one is more one-sided. It's defending the film, basically. These guys do reviews defending films, okay? And you can go ahead and check them out. But then you have this guy. His name is Spifer. And he's a really, you can see he's a comic book nerd. <laughs> and he's actually explaining a little bit more about the film, which is pretty interesting. Then, of course, you know this guy. He just posted up something pretty recently. So he's talking about the combination of comic books that this film pulls from, okay? This guy, Abe Adarian Dixon, he was just blown away by the film. He really loved it. And I don't know how many times he's watched it. Then you got this kid, this kid, this guy called Screaming Psycho. He's a British dude. And, like, he's blown away by the film. He really loves the film. Okay, now this guy, he thinks the film is a masterpiece. This guy right here. Uh, this guy now speaking right now, he's a critic of it. And he's saying to him it's a bowl of mess. This other guy, he's indifferent about it. This guy, he hates it. <laughs> and this guy here... <laughs> He's kind of loony. He says he loves the film. He hated it the first time. He's, he's like bipolar or something. He loved it the second time he saw it. So it's pretty funny. All right, now this movie is really awesome. Check him out. He's Chazne in Quiver. And this guy, he really breaks down the movie perfectly. Uh, really recommend you go and watch him. He really brings out the the stuff that I was talking about about this movie. So you guys should really check him out. Now all of these guys are doing spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. So if you haven't seen the movie and you want it to be spoiled so you can go in and then look at it, fine. But if not, I suggest you go see the movie first and then you can go and join in the discussion. Now on my page and my channel again, we do a lot of discussions on the movie. I'm now circulating out the discussions and the different videos I made so that people can check him out because people check out my videos all the time on YouTube, I notice. And, um, they check out my stuff and then they have the uh, either the bonus to try to build on that or they have the uh, bonus to try and antagonize it. Either way, I don't really care. Once the discussions happen online, that's what really matters. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys have a great night. I gotta wake up early tomorrow morning to do some more stuff. You guys make your presence known online, man. I'm gonna come to you to put out videos talking about this. I put so many videos on this film. It should be, it, people should realize I really like the film. Uh, I'm not alone. There's a lot of people who actually really like this film and realize what a masterpiece it really is. A lot of people misunderstand certain things about the film, but it's an awesome film. And I, I've heard this from not just myself, but beyond the trailer, she thought it was a, like a Stanley Kubrick-like film. It's not, this movie's quick, okay? In terms of, it's very short to the point about what it wants to do, and there's a lot of uh, meaning behind every word said in the movie, so that something builds on something else in the movie so I think a lot of times you miss a lot of things I missed a lot of things in this movie and I came back I understood the basic storyline plot but I didn't know all the subplots and what was really going on in the movie so by seeing it about six times now I think I've kind of gotten a really nice solid grasp on it some people really uh, talk about this movie in a very good way so having seen that Again, I love it. It's an adult movie. It's like a rated R. I wish it was rated R, but it's not rated R. So uh, the rated R cut's coming out later. But I just like the movie just the way it is. Um, I thought that everything played a role in how the story was told. And I think a number of these people I just just referred you to here, they also believe the same thing. So anyway, could this movie have been better? Maybe, but very little more could have been done for it to be better. To pull off that Herculean task of launching the DCEU, tying up the loose ends of Man of Steel, pitting Batman against Superman, and at the same time also bringing an intro to the Justice League. This movie did so much and pulled it off that there's no way I can say that this movie is not a great movie. And the thing about it is they put depth and context behind all of these things. So I, I totally love it. I love this movie. I think that this is like an indie film sort of slash big budget movie. Love Zack Snyder's approach to it. You know, like Zack Snyder definitely has a distinctive style. And um, he definitely covers themes and topics which will be uncomfortable for a viewer. But once you get past the discomfort, you get so much meaning and value for it. So, love it. You guys have a great one.